A supermassive black hole is the most monstrous kind of black hole that exists out there, which weighs at least hundreds to billions of times the mass of the Sun. Most galaxies have a supermassive black hole at their heart. Our Milky Way too has a supermassive black hole at its kernel which goes by the name Sagittarius A star. We got the first ever image of a supermassive black hole, at the center of the elliptical galaxy M87, in 2019 using the Event Horizon Telescope. Then later in 2022, we got the first image of the supermassive black hole at the center of our own Milky Way, which was considered more difficult to acquire. But how do these gigantic monsters, which have such an enormous pull that even light can't escape them, form? Let's find out. Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. Modern powerful telescopes which can see farther and fainter than ever before, have seen black holes just one billion years after the Big Bang which weigh several billion times the mass of the Sun. But according to current models of black hole formation of astronomers, black holes can't grow so big so fast. So then, how did these supermassive black holes in the early universe form? According to the current understanding of black hole formation, astronomers estimate that in a billion years time, black holes only about 100,000 times the mass of the Sun should be able to form. The fact that black holes even billions of times the Sun's mass were able to form shows that something strange is going on, that a missing piece of the puzzle of black hole formation is still not within our reach, that knowledge of this part of the enigma that is supermassive black holes, of their formation, is missing. Many theories abound to explain this rapid early formation of supermassive black holes. None among them is widely accepted by all scientists though, as none of them is able to fully explain all of the physics, leaving scope for more potential explanations. Let's take a glimpse at these fascinating theories though. Smaller black holes, called stellar mass black holes form once a massive star has run out of fuel, and explodes in a blinding supernova. Such black holes then keep growing in size if they are gorging on the dust and stars around them. This is one most obvious way scientists thought supermassive black holes could form when stellar mass black holes keep accreting more and more matter. Now scientists wonder whether it is possible that supermassive black holes form from the collapse of supermassive stars in their dying stages, giving them, as a result, a head start in terms of mass. Another way in which scientists think these supermassive black holes at the cores of galaxies can form fast is by the merger of two black holes. Scientists continue to work towards untangling the mystery of the origin of these supermassive gluttonous monsters that wield power to influence not just their surroundings, but entire galaxies that host them. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.